Hi friends. For art this week, we're gonna do a clay project talking about texture. I take down a piece of paper in my working space so that the clay doesn't stick to this table and also helps with my mess. But you can work on any working space. Um, this will just help so the clay doesn't stick to the table. You should have gotten some clay in your box and an envelope. Okay, and I'm gonna open my envelope and get my tools out. And you should have a toothpick or a, a um, chopstick, a toothpick, and a little bit of lace. Hmm. Okay. So what I want you to do with your clay is I want you to divide it in half. So just take a chunk off like that. Okay. And I want you to practice, I want you to make at least five textures. I know you can all count to five, right? So what I want you to do is squeeze the clay in your hand and make like a log. We're gonna roll it like that. And then we can take our tool or we can use our hands and try to break this up into five even pieces. Okay, so now I have five pieces. And then each of these I'm gonna take and I'm gonna make a ball. So I can make a ball in my hand or I can make a ball on the table. Just roll it around. I'm gonna roll these around. And they don't have to be perfect. And remember, the more you touch the clay, the more water leaves the clay and it'll get drier and drier. So try not to touch it too much in the beginning. All right, now I'm gonna take these and make these into some flat discs. So I can either pound them out like that or just flatten them with my hand. And you can do this one by one or you could do it all at once, it's up to you, okay? And so now I'm gonna take these tools and I can use any other tools around the house that I have permission from my, my parent or from my adult to use and think about how I can create texture. What is texture? Well, texture could be the wrinkles in my hand. It could be you know, the, the feeling of this plastic bag. It can be the smoothness of this clay. So those are all textures. So I wanna think about creating a new texture using these tools and whatever other tools I have around. So just play around with creating texture. Now, there's a difference between this and this. If I sit here and I poke and poke and poke, okay, that is more of a texture than that one dot. Why is that? Because there's lots of them. That's because I'm creating repetition. I'm taking a movement and I'm doing it over and over again and that is creating a texture. So that's all I have to do to create different textures. So I want you to create at least five different textures. And then once you've done that, you can just play. And the rest of this clay is just for you to play with. Now, if you let this clay dry, it'll be hard, but if it gets wet, then it'll turn back into mud. If you want to fire anything, you can bring it back to school and I'll fire it for you. But you also can just keep playing with it and not worry about firing it. So think about the different ways you can hold the tools to do different things. Think about the different edges that are there and what that can do. So again, because I'm repeating this line, this becomes a texture and then I can even crisscross. So start to think about different things you can do with the tools or with other things you have. The cool thing about clay is it will really respond to everything you do to it, even your fingerprint. So I can even put my fingerprint in here and think about using that as a texture. And maybe you wanna make one of these into a necklace. Now, watch this. This is kind of cool. So if I use this lace and I press it into the clay surface, you could even try rolling it with your chopstick. 
that will create an interesting texture. So it can be a really, it could be something that's really subtle like this or something really deep like this. All right, so I hope you have fun with this and think about different textures you can find. You could even go outside and find a leaf or a rock and press that into the clay and think about what texture that makes. And I would love if you were able to upload any photos of your textures, I would love to see them. But I just hope that you can experiment and have lots of fun playing with clay. All right, have a great week.